Hi, I'm Saurabh Joshi from Stratpost and I'm with Alistair Castle from BAA Systems and we're, going to, we're standing next to the M777 lightweight howitzer. This is, this is one of the most interesting cases of procurement that India has uh, pursued. Uh, it's, 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 it's been on the, on the procurement cards since at least 2000, uh, 2010. Uh, it's, it's seen its, its ups and downs, and we're going to talk Alistair, uh, to, to Alistair Carcel about, about his experience uh, handling the progression of the procurement. Alistair, mm. uh, you, you've, you've followed the, this program for a number of years. Uh, where, uh, the uh, interest in this procurement was briefly stalled. Uh, uh, there was a lack of clarity as to where this was going. Mm. There's renewed interest now. Where are we at? Mm. Well, you're absolutely right. This has been quite a journey uh, for BA Systems and India collaboratively. Uh, but I'm pleased to report, actually, that the state of the program now is in a fast rate of uh, closure. We've had some very encouraging signs this week uh, that uh, we are close to closing uh, the, uh, the contract on this gun. Now, you have to remember it's an FMS uh, arrangement between the US government and the India government, and we're supporting the US government. So in a sense, we're standing by ready to go on contract. When the first uh, DSCA notification to the US Congress was issued, there was no mention of Make in India or manufacturing in India. It was just the proposed sale for 145 units. Mm -hmm. Things have changed dramatically since then, haven't they? Yes. And could you tell us a little bit about that? Mm. Well, Make in India has really made a big difference to this, I think, because it's a policy that plays very well to what BA Systems has always been trying to do in India. If you take the Hawk, for example, we do that with HAL. That's a Make in India program with a flagship partner, HAL. This again, this product here, has again an ability to potentially do that. A Make in India program, M777, and we've chosen a partner in this case, which would be Mahindra. So, uh, 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 what next? Where, where, where do you see this going? How quickly do you see this progressing? Okay, well, we've obviously selected Mahindra, and that was against uh, a competition that we ran. We looked at many potential industrial partners in India, and one thing we were extremely impressed with the quality and capability that you can, you can gain here. Um, so by mobilizing now is a sort of signal for us that we're confident of getting this contract uh, into production. That will be for the batch one, which is 145 units. And for BA Systems, it's never a short journey. We see it continuing on beyond that. So the original requirement is a lot more. And so we're hopeful and optimistic we can build on further batches here in India. So what, I mean, of, for starters, what percentage of the components for this system would be built in India? So the gun basically the bit that's going to come to India would be, it's the, it's the US piece, it's the assembly, integration and test piece. So that will all come to India and the other part will be retained in, in the UK. So, but the majority of the assembly, all the integration, all the testing in India, over a period of time we would like to increase the content coming to India. Uh, you know, two, three years back there were some worries about, uh, you know, the assembly line shutting down in the UK. Uh, the, the, uh, in the US, there weren't enough uh, and there was no order inside. The, uh, people were worried about, you know, what's going to happen with this procurement. Uh, what, what, how did you persuade people uh, in India to see this as a case of industrial manufacture, domestic manufacture, than just a one-off uh, buy? Mm. Well, two things there. I mean, the product itself is one of the world's greatest lightweight howitzers. So what we did essentially was, we're very used to, uh, as I said to you earlier, looking at this as more of a marathon than a sprint. And so for us, you know, going into a period where it was uh, a slower period is not uncommon for us. And in that period, we were able to look a little bit more about what would uh, be more attractive uh, to a country like India and as the Make in India policy came on that played to the strategy of us wanting to enter India in a more industrial type offer. And, and can you be an oracle for a second and sort of look into the future, the next year, couple of years, what's going to be happening? Well for BAE this is an extremely important 
uh, next step because it will take our corporation into the land sector through this program. We see many more batches of this product being built and made in India and I think there's an exciting future for this product. We want to do more of it and we want to try and increase that partnership in India. And, and, and this model of partnership, do you see yourself going into other areas as well, other systems perhaps? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think the way we approach markets like this is we like to secure a focus around a particular technology or product that is actually uh, relevant uh, to the country in question. Uh, in the case of this, it is M777. We then want to create a model that then really works between our company and the country, and then we build on that to grow it slowly but surely. And of course, then we'll start to look out at other opportunities beyond that. And, and uh, you know, uh, manufacturing in India, what kind of homework have you done so far in terms of, I don't know, identification of a site, that sort of thing? Sure, we've, we've got a lot of work going on at the moment looking at the vendor base. So in all sectors, not only just from the 777, but uh, we've got a continual, in a sense, a landscape scan of partners that could potentially uh, work with us for the future in India. Alistair Castle, thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. That was Alistair Castle talking to us about BA Systems plans for the production of the M777 Lighthouser in India. You're watching Stratpost.